Greetings, Internet, and welcome to yet another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. This week, I'm taking a look at My Stick, a bad lip reading of The Last Jedi. Uh, so the bad lip reading channel did Seagulls Stop It Now from, I think, Return of the Jedi. Uh, it's a song that they made from bad lip reading, and apparently My Stick is another song it's another Yoda song, kind of a sequel to the last Seagull song. I'm told it's a comedy song, that's why I'm reviewing it on, on the reaction thingy here. Anyway, yeah, it's a thing. I'm going to see it. I like comedy music, and this seems to be the thing. Yeah, as for those of you who don't know me, Insanian, comedy musician, and comedy music fan, I usually say that at the beginning of these things, but I've recorded like five videos in a row today. Uh, that's why my outfit is the same. So, it's all blurring together at this point. Anyway. We're gonna watch a video now, and react T to it. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's ever pointed out, but that boah noise that they have uh, is a regular stock sound effect from like GarageBand, I think. Because I've heard it used in a bunch of things that other people have done. <laughs> A bad lip reading of the last Jedi. Hey, where's the fox, huh? What the? Oh no, where are you off to? Just this party in the garden. Doing bad lip readings for Yoda—it's kind of cheating because it's a puppet. It can literally be saying anything that has the same number of syllables for as many mouth flaps as it does. But it's still funny, especially the voice they give all the characters. It's really funny. I will say one of the things that I, I love about bad lip reading is for one of their Star Wars things, I think for Force Awakens, they actually got Mark Hamill to do a voice. But not for Luke Skywalker. He did his Harrison Ford impression for the bad lip reading video. And it's awesome. He does an amazing Harrison Ford impression. Because he's Mark Hamill and he's an amazing voice actor. But anyway, regardless. I hope this is just the setup for the song. How about to join you? How about you don't? <laughs> Sir, come back. Hey! But, but, I told you to stop! <laughs> Here comes the song. When they do the songs with the bad lip reading, it's never just a static shot from the movie that they're just doing bad lip reading to. They they cut it together, obviously, to make a song, to make it more rhythmic. But some of the stuff, some of the elements that they take to repeat are just so inspired and just so funny to do that with. Like, him, him, Yoda will just, mm, and just make that face and like he's humming. And they use that to do a, a humming intro. And the feet stomp being the introduction to the beat. Oh, it's genius. It's really good stuff. Really, really funny stuff. But then the repetition of the stick part, you know, that's that's your, your simple song repetition. It takes a lot to craft something like this, is, is my point. My stick, my stick, my stick is better than bacon. Okay. You can't touch my stick. I love how it's subtly zooming in each time to make it seem like it's a different, like, to make it seem like it's all still the same thing. So good. Don't understand that line, but it's fine. <laughs> I 
Another element that kind of strikes me as weird with these songs for bad lip reading is some of it's not bad lip reading at all. There's literally no lips to be read in a shot, because especially like it's a cutaway to earlier in the movie, and we've got Yoda singing at us, supposedly, but they're just writing anything they want because of the weirdness of what the bad lip reading initiated. And so they're kind of making it flow like a song. Sometimes they do bad lip readings to actual songs, like a music video. They did a bad lip reading to uh, that Gautier song, Somebody I Used to Know. And it's a completely different music because they're just reading the lips. Uh, and it, I think that works as an element better as a song. Uh, I, I mean, as far as a bad lip reading for a song, this is more cutting things together to make a song. It's still great. It's still bad lip reading in its soul, in its essence, but there are obviously things that they finagled to make the lack of lips being read still work. It's it's still brilliantly done. I still think it's an awesome thing. And then Luke yelling at it's perfect. I think they're just using bacon because it's the, I mean, honestly, everything that they say in bad lip reading is weird because they're just figuring out what the syllables are and what the lip movement looks like. With a puppet again, it's a little weirder, but bacon he has the, the lip movement for that particular set of syllables, so that's what they throw in there. It's weird, but bad lip reading is weird. It's just how it is. Not seagulls. So there's a callback. The blank looks of Luke is just brilliant. <laughs> oh no. It's, it's so catchy! The blank looks just kill me! <laughs> what? The callbacks to Seagull Stop It Now is great. And just, and it, him using his stick on R2 in the original movies. It's also, yeah, it's, it's, this is quality. This is quality stuff. I don't really have much else to say about it other than just laughing at it because it's so damn funny. Uh, again, from a comedy perspective, from a comedy musician perspective, the way they craft a song based on the weird rhythms of what the puppet does and the weird syncopation of the lip movements to actually make words that seem like they fit coming out of it. And then crafting something where they have to cut things to make things work with the craft of the song. It's a lot of involved stuff, but it's still very cool. Uh, I, again, sometimes I, I feel like I prefer when they do a thing that's already a song, or already a music video, that they don't have to edit to get different things out of, but I can see how sometimes that might even be harder. Um, this may be like a, an easier way to craft it because it seems like you can control the flow of how the song goes uh, as opposed to a music video where it's already predetermined and you're just filling in what you think they're saying based on the lip movements uh, in a predetermined scene. But that's what bad lip reading is on everything else they do is filling out the, the what you think the words are based on the mouth movements without editing. Um, so sometimes when they do the songs like, like the, the Carl song uh, Carl Papa from from Walking Dead that they did, which is a great song, really freaking catchy. But you know, there's a lot of editing involved in 
making the lip movements match what they've made be lyrics. Um, you know, the point of all of, of where I'm going with all of that is it's a different style, but it's still equally as funny to me. Anyway. That's, that was great. That was that was great. And of course, and of course, you know they have other songs based on Star Wars too. You've got the Seagull Stop It Now, which is the the best one. Bushes of Love, which is kind of an Obi Wan song, and then Not the Future. Uh, they they've done a lot of songs. I prefer their more traditional bad lip reading videos, but. Their songs are always fun. If you want to check out the original video, that link is going to be in the description down below. If you liked this, please give us a like, leave a comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, or if you really want to help support the channel, I, of course, I have a Patreon, because of course I do, it's the internet. And on that Patreon, you can get these videos early before anybody else. Your support there also helps me make more videos, as well as make my own comedy songs. Uh, I have an album coming out, and I'm doing all sorts of other cool music things. And you can get all of that early on Patreon. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye! You can't touch my stick. And now I hear you're searching for my droid. Kylo! I can see